Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reacting to The Last um, by Suga slash August D. Um, this was a track on his first mixtape, which I believe came out in 2016. Um, I have been highly, highly requested to react to this, but I've also heard that this song is um, super um, deep and meaningful and very personal to Yoongi's life. I don't know what it's about. I'm just imagining what it's going to be about. Um, so yeah, I'm going into this not knowing anything. I'm a little nervous to react to it because um, a few people have told me to like react to it at my own pace. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm a very emotional person. I show my emotion. Um, I have no problem showing my emotion. I um, wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, so I'm a little nervous going into this, but I know that um, I've also been wanting to listen to this song ever since people told me how um, meaningful this song is. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into The Last by August D slash Suga. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> The way that he delivers his like verses, his his lines in his song is the most passionate I have ever heard an artist, a singer, a rapper, like deliver their words. I've I, truly, I have never heard another artist with so much passion. Like you can literally, even if you, if you were just listening to this with your eyes closed and you don't speak Korean, you could tell that what he is rapping about is serious. Like it's not like it's, it's like a, bubble gum filler song whatever like you would know that he was like this is like no joke this is this is deep stuff so I really appreciate that about him so much we're gonna go back a little bit because I need to read these lyrics I know he said something about when he turned 18 his I know that he had anxiety and depression growing up I'm not sure growing up or maybe when he was like a young adult, but I think he just said that when he turned 18, it came back and correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't he around that age when he became a trainee or like when he started BTS? I think maybe he was like a trainee. He was starting to have a lot on his plate. I'm not positive though. Don't, don't quote me. Should I get it down? Is that guy got to a passion that is dead and comparing myself with others has become every day for me and i can totally see that not not just him but just can you imagine being in that um career and if you're a trainee and your whole uh, like young adult life if you're in that is you being being compared to everybody else who is training for this this 
few spots to debut in a group. Like you're constantly being compared and you're like, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years old and you're being told you're not good enough and you're watching your friends make it. You know, I, I can't even imagine. I mean, I, I know for me personally, I compare myself with people all the time. That's one of my biggest um weaknesses I guess is I have zero self-confidence in myself when it comes to my ability to do things like for example nursing school I just started nursing school I just finished day three of a two-year program and I'm already psyching myself out thinking that I am not smart enough to do this when I know that I'm smart enough to do it I'm already getting emotional this is already like resonating with me so much um it's so true. I mean, it's so true for like anybody I'm sure has a, has, a, you could make this personal, um, you have a story at some point in your life where you've also compared yourself to other people. Wow. Okay. We're 53 seconds. <laughs> The trash man's coming right now. It's okay, I needed a break for a second. fact that I willingly film myself crying and put it on YouTube just baffles me. <laughs> even imagine um having that much pressure on you and having the, like that many people watching you all the time I can't even imagine I I would never <laughs> want to be famous for that reason I don't think I, I don't think I would be able to handle that um and I can see why um so many people in that industry have anxiety and other mental health issues and I think it's so important to address it and have a support system um I can't I can't I can't even imagine facing myself who hid in the bathroom because I was scared of the people like social anxiety for sure again I I, I literally don't even have anything to say because I I I just I can't even imagine I could never do it and I feel for him and I feel for anybody else who has gone through this so much it makes me so sad 
that like I can't help take that away from people. I can feel it from my body and I'm about to hide all night. It's enough. You did it. And he thought that being successful was going to make it better. Like it would be worth it in the end, you know, but you really got to put yourself first. It doesn't matter if you have a job that's like destroying your mental health, like you need to put yourself first or if you're in a relationship that's just not good for you like your mental health you need to like get out like you need to put you first you are the most important thing in your life you're the only person that's ever gonna be with you forever you can't get away from you so make sure that you treat you number one all the time remember that my my i think it was my anatomy teacher told us that and that it stuck with me like, you're never going to get rid of yourself. You're always going to be there for you. Other people may come and go, but you're always going to be there for you. So you need to make sure that you treat yourself number one all the time. He's going way too fast. My greed, which was my weapon, turned into something that would swallow me up, ruin me, and sometimes put a chain on me. He's a straight poet. <laughs> kind of just let that play out at the end um because he was going and you should not stop sugar when he is spitting bars okay i don't think i'm gonna cry anymore so that's good <laughs> i think i the trash man drove by so i had to stop for like a minute and i collected myself i am really happy that the song 
like halfway through turned into, but I'm doing fine now, I'm okay, don't worry, because I mean, I'm sure he knew when he released that if he didn't end it like that, if it just kept going as being really sad that he would have millions of people terrified <laughs> for his well-being. Okay, fuck, I might be crying again. I'm gonna have to put a trigger warning at the beginning of this video. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say because I'll really start crying. Um, I think I'm just gonna end it with, if you ever have feelings like this, please reach out to someone. This song is so personal and it's truly so heartwarming to know that he felt safe enough to share this with us. Um, that's That just speaks volumes of how brave he is and how strong he is um, to be able to write a song and let millions of people listen to it and learn about his journey and his struggles. That's so cool because with this song, he probably reached. God damn it. <laughs> he probably reached millions of people and I'm sure he's helped millions of people with this song and has brought so much awareness to mental health issues. And that's like, that's how you do it. You know, I, if there were more people who used their voice and their platform and their popularity for good like this, the world would be such a better place. And that is why I love BTS. Next time someone asks me that, I'm going to show them this song and be like, they're doing such great things with their platform and it's, it's just incredible. Okay, I need to go because I am... I'm a crying mess. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cry. <laughs> um, I love that song. I need to check out his entire mixtape because he's just insane. I love him so much. Okay, this is a really long video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you cried along with me. Actually, that's kind of rude. I mean, I kind of do because it made me feel better about myself that I just sobbed. So maybe if you cried a little bit, let me know. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I love you so much. You are worth it. You are beautiful. I love you. You can always talk to me if you need someone to talk to. Bye, guys.